Hello and welcome to this screencast my friends in which we are going to see how to find out the yield or the internal rate of return on a financial calculator for which we are taking this data. We have $7,000 which we invest in a stock today and after that for the next four years we are going to receive the following dividends on this stock $65 at the end of the first year, $70 at the end of the second year, $70 again at the end of the third year and $65 at the end of the fourth year at which point in time we are also going to sell our stock for $7,900. The question that we need to answer is what is going to be our yield on this investment? In other words, what is going to be the internal rate of return on this investment? And we are going to very quickly find that out through a financial calculator. I'm going to invoke the HP 10B2 simulator program here and I'm going to use it to find out the IRR or the yield very very quickly. To begin with I'm going to look at this number $7,000 here which is the amount that I'm investing in the stock today. So today this money is leaving my pocket so this is going to be a negative number for me. So I punch in $7,000 and convert it to a negative number by pressing this button here which is the plus minus button. And once this is converted into a negative number, I'm going to store it into the cash flow button here, which is this one. So I press this and this $7,000 negative is stored into my um, cash flow. Now I'm going to look at these numbers. $65 is the dividend that I receive at the end of the first year. So I punch in 65 and store it again into the cash flow button. Then I have this 70. So I punch in 70 and store it again into the cash flow button. Then I have this 70. So I punch in 7070 and store it into the cash flow button here. And then I have this $65 which I'm receiving as dividends at the end of the fourth year. But also keep in mind that the end uh, that at the end of the fourth year you are selling your stock for $7,900 so that the total amount that you receive at the end of four years is 7900 plus 65 that is 7965. So that is what I'm going to punch in to the calculator here 7965 and store it into my cash flow button again as my last cash flow. After that I'm going to press this uh, yellow button here which is going to activate all the yellow functions on the calculator. One of those yellow functions you see here is the IRR um, function. I'm simply going to press this key and that should return to me my yield on the investment which is 3.9923% or roughly 4%. So this is my IRR or yield on this investment. Thank you very much my friends. Bye-bye.